students i am mudkar sopil department of chemistry vijayanagara college psc university ballari i will take the chapter for the bsc third sem physical chemistry that is paper 3 under this we are studying now the important topic quantum mechanics i think you might have studied this mechanics in the previous pvc classes the branch of science which deals with the study of macroscopic objects like cricket ball football motion of those but now we are studying quantum mechanics what is this quantum mechanics now quantum mechanics is the branch of science which deals with the study of motions of the microscopic objects like electrons having both wave like and particle like properties that means in this quantum mechanics we are studying the <coughs> movement of the microscopic objects like electrons protons neutrons like that and those are having both wave like and the particle like properties then this quantum mechanics takes into account of the two important principles heisenberg's uncertainty principle and de broglie concept of dual nature of matter dual nature of matter means matter behaves as a wave and also matter behaves as a particle then we have study on the black body what is this black body a body which completely absorbs all the radiations falling on it is called a black body i think we are wearing the black sweaters during the winter it absorbs the heat from the sun rays and our body becoming hot so that a black body is not only a perfect absorber of the radiation but it is also a perfect emitter practically there is no perfect black body but theoretically or ideally it is possible practically it is very difficult to say that the body which absorbs completely the radiation is falling on it theoretically only you can expect this one then by using this graph can explain this black body radiation if we take a hollow sphere black and using lamp black using lamp black we have to make that blackening of that hollow sphere on the inside and having a small hole for the entry of the radiation then absorption is found to be more perfect this is so because any radiation that enters through the hole is reflected over and again by the walls of the sphere till finally it is completely absorbed <coughs> so black body radiates the maximum amount of energy for the given temperature the radiations that emitted are called black body radiation for two marks they will ask this question explain briefly the black body radiation so this can be clearly studied by using this graph by plotting the graph of lambda m we will Along the x-axis and the energy along this y-axis, it is found that very important note we are seeing here. These curves shows that at higher temperatures, at higher temperatures, position of lambda m, where the pulse shifts towards shorter wavelengths. That means this T1 is having this T2 here shifted towards this side, T3 still shifted towards this side, T4 still. Shifted towards this side and T by shifted towards this side. This is the lambda m. So this is about the important note and that is black body radiation. Next, we are studying this uh, Planck's radiation law. Max Planck in 1900 put forward a theory that the oscillator of black body cannot have just any amount of energy, but can have only a discrete amount of energy depending upon the frequency of the oscillator. If the frequency of the oscillator changes, the energy also changes. Then we have to study the first laws of assumptions. The first first law is telling about energy is emitted or absorbed not continuously but discontinuously in the form of packets of energy called quanta or photons. Energy of each quantum is given by e is equal to h nu. Nu is frequency of the radiation. H is Planck's constant, and you know the value of this h. 6.626 into 10 power minus 34 joule second. Second question: The total energy emitted or absorbed is either unit quantum, that is h nu, or a whole number multiple of h nu. 
that is equal to n h nu that is e is equal to n h nu n is nothing but number of photons <coughs> based upon the postulates like deducing expression for the energy e lambda radiated by a black body at wave lambda as e lambda is equal to 8 by h c by lambda to the power of 5 into 1 by exponential to the power of hc by kt lambda minus 1 this is called planck's radiation law or planck's radiation equation where k is bond bond constant t lambda observed temperature for particular wavelength so this derivation is not necessary for you just you have to remember this formula e lambda is equal to 8 by hc by lambda to the power of 5 into 1 by exponential to the power of hc by lambda k d minus 1 <coughs> then means law and religious laws are particular cases of this planck's radiation law that means by using this planck's radiation law we can have this means law and also we can have religious law the case one is about this if lambda t is small this lambda t is small then e power h c by k t lambda greater than greater than 1 so that 1 in the denominator in the equation can be neglected this is neglected because this is very large and then equation is modified into e lambda is equal to 8 by hc by lambda to the power of 5 1 divided by hc by lambda kt only or can write this 8 by hc by lambda putting this exponential to the power from denominator to the numerator it becomes minus so minus hc by lambda kt this expression you can call it as Wien's equation or it is also called Wien's law second case if lambda t is large compared to 1 then e power h c by lambda k t may be expanded by exponential theorem you know that e power x is equal to 12 plus x plus x square plus x square plus x square like that in the form of this you can have this expression e power h c by lambda k t is equal to 1 plus h c by lambda k t plus h c by lambda k t to the power 2 plus h c by lambda k t to the power 3 plus etc so equation the above equation is modified into e lambda is equal to 8 by h c by lambda to the power of 5 into 1 by h c by lambda k t because so these powers uh, power 2 power 3 these are present in denominator in the expression so these are neglected then we are taking into account of this uh, first only 8 by h c by lambda to the power of 5 1 whole divided by h c by lambda k t after simplification is equal to 8 by hc by lambda to power 5 this is coming to the numerator lambda kt by hc after simplification we will get 8 by kt divided by lambda to the power of 4 that is e lambda is equal to 8 by kt by lambda to the power of 4 and this expression you can call it as religious equation or religious law now we will study this another uh, subtopic under this one photoelectric effect i think you might have studied this in the previous lecture here also i have studied this one when a beam of light with frequency equal to or greater than threshold frequency is allowed to strike the surface of a metal electrons are ejected instantaneously from the surface of the metal this effect is called photoelectric effect so this is the diagram which shows that this photoelectric effect this is the metal surface the light is falling on it this is called instant light electrons are rejected and these electrons are this energy e is equal to half m square then what are the characteristics of photoelectric effect in the examination the question may be for two marks they will ask this definition explain photoelectric effect the question is carrying for four marks under that you have to study the definition and also characteristics the first characteristic is the electrons are rejected only if the frequency of the incident light is equal to or greater than a minimum value called threshold frequency. Threshold frequency is designated as mu naught. Second characteristic, the electrons are rejected instantaneously. There is no time lag between striking of the metal surface by the light and emission of electrons. There is no time lag between the incident light which is falling on it and the ejection of the electrons from the metal surface. Third characteristic, tell you what is kinetic energy. The kinetic energy, short to connect this as Ke of the emitted electrons depends upon the frequency of the instant light. If the 
frequency of incident light is changing, the kinetic energy is also changing. Fourth one, according to Planck's quantum theory, when the photon having energy H nu hits the metal atom, it transfers its energy to the electrons. Completely transfers the electrons to the uh, transfers its energy to the electrons. Energy equal to threshold value. You can call this as H nu naught. Is used up in the release of electrons and the remaining energy stored as kinetic energy of electrons. The quantity H nu naught is called work function. This quantity H nu naught is called work function and is equal to the ionization energy of the metal atom. You know that the definition of ionization energy. The energy is equal to remove the outermost electron from the neutral gaseous atom is called ionization energy. That energy is exactly equal to the work function. Thus, this H nu is equal to H nu naught plus half m square. This is equal to H nu naught plus this half m square in the word kinetic energy. And we will take this as equation 1. Thus, if the frequency of incident light is equal to threshold value, electrons emitted will not possess any kinetic energy. That means if the frequency of the incident light is exactly equal to the threshold value, threshold value is H nu naught, H nu naught, and in that case, the electrons emitted will not possess any kinetic energy. Here the intensity of light is the number of photons hitting the metal surface per unit time. That means per second, how many number of photons are hitting the metal surface? Or per minute, how many number of photons are hitting the metal surface? It is nothing but the intensity of light. An increase in intensity can increase the number of electrons emitted. That means if increase the intensity, the number of electrons emitted also increases, but we have no effect on their kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is not affected by the increase in the number of electrons. This is increased due to the increase in the intensity. Then this can be clearly explained by the other scientist Einstein. You might have heard this name, Einstein's uh, relativity theory. He also explained the other concept, photoelectric effect, for this also he has got the number prize. According to the Einstein, what he explained by using his mathematical physics, he has given the other equation, modified equation. Then the equation 1 previously is modified into H nu minus H nu naught is equal to kinetic energy. That means if you plot the nu, nothing but frequency of incident radiation along the x-axis is plotted against kinetic energy of emitted ele electrons along the y-axis by getting the different points here. If you join these points, we will get the straight line. If this straight line is extrapolated towards this side along the x-axis, it meets the point and this is nothing but nu naught. Already you have seen this new knot in the previous uh, ex explanation. So, this is the expression is the form of y is equal to mx plus c. Here in this case the y is kinetic energy, this is y. x is new frequency of instant radiation. Uh, then, the slope of this is nothing but h. Slope is nothing but h, Planck's constant. And the intercept, intercept means this uh, line cuts this x axis here. That intercept is nothing but h nu naught. This value is called the h nu naught is nothing but the intercept c and m is the slope. The slope is nothing but here in this Planck's constant. So, a plot of kinetic energy emitted electrons versus frequency of the incident radiation nu will be a straight line with the slope equal to Planck's constant h, Planck's constant h, and the intercept is equal to h nu naught. I hope you understood this concept clearly. Thank you all.